This year at CES, I'm really excited about hearing what other CPG brands are doing in the technology space. For PAPS, it's not only about leveraging technology to drive focus and reduce waste, but it's really about connecting with consumers. While I'm at CES, I, I always like walking the halls and looking what the newest um, technology innovations are. I mean, for GoPro, um, technology innovations are obviously a critical part to, to our ongoing success. Say first and foremost for me, I don't think there is something which is a earth-shatteringly new technology that's coming here. We already spoke about 5G last year itself. Uh, artificial intelligence uh, is something which is already here. Probably we'll see some applications used in an intelligent way. Look forward to that. Blockchains. Then we got smart speakers. That's another idea that we'll really be interested in seeing. We are a brand that's built on connection, and that's human connection. So for me, that's really important, and I'm just excited about seeing all the new innovative trends that are out there. Mission critical um, success tactics for GoPro over the next couple of years is really focusing on um, our community, putting marketing messages together that we feel really resonates to our core audience, our active capturers, which are the people out living big lives and capturing those moments on our product. So we've really started to hone in and target our messaging to really talk to our core consumer, um, which we're using a lot of insights and analytics to better understand who those people are. At MasterCard, we focus in marketing space on nine passion categories. Anything which, trans, which transforms or enhances consumer experience or brings new possibilities to consumers in these nine passion points is what I would be looking at. What are these passion points? Music. So anything that's radically different that's happening in music, it's of high interest to me. Second, movies. Third, we have got arts and culture. Fourth, we got shopping. Fifth, we got fashion. Sixth, we have got uh, tourism and travel. Uh, then we have got environment and sustainability and philanthropy. So when we look at these nine areas, that's where I'm actually focused on. For us at PAPS, data is really, really important when we think about reaching that right consumer at the right time. Uh, we're a three, we have to work through a three-tier system, meaning that we don't actually sell direct to consumer. So getting that really, really rich and insightful data that's actually meaningful to us is pretty difficult. So it all comes down to partnerships because those are the people that are actually going to provide that data to us. The power of data can enable pretty significantly consumer experience. Then you got the digital technologies, which are totally transforming the space. Plus new ways of moving data, like for example 5G, it's going to radically transform how you can interact with consumers in a very compelling fashion. We're leveraging data to better understand our consumers through um, our cameras and understanding where people are activating our cameras, how they're using our cameras, what features they're using on our cameras, as well as our consumer insights group of really trying to understand what messages uh, and what features are going to resonate not with only our customers today, but customers in the future.